Today I'm going to show you how to set up the June Chrome M2 gimbal wirelessly with the GoPro Hero 8 Black so you can use the controls on the gimbal with the GoPro. Let's go! So once you've balanced the GoPro, it'll look something like this. However, it can also look like that as well. So what we need to do first is we need to turn on the GoPro followed by the gimbal. We then want to go to preferences. So to do so on the GoPro is we want to swipe down, go to preferences, click on connections. Now straight away, you're probably thinking, oh, I'm going to go into Wi-Fi connections and then turn it on and yada, yada, yada. No, what we need to do first is we need to change the Wi-Fi band on the GoPro from five gigahertz, which is the default for the GoPro to 2.4 gigahertz. So in all their glory, June has only supported 2.4 gigahertz on the Crane M2, whereas I would have preferred it being five gigahertz because it's a more reliable wireless band. So let's go and change that. So to go and change that, we need to scroll down, click on 5GS or five gigahertz. And then we want to change that to 2.4. And then we want to scroll back up now this is where we do want to turn on the Wi-Fi band. We do want to turn that on. And then the message on the screen here, which you kind of can't see on the camera, is connect a new device. No devices has been connected to your GoPro. So we want to click connect, connect to the GoPro app. So I'm now going to switch over to the phone. So what you'll need to do is, is you'll need to download the ZY Play app and the GoPro app. These are both available from the Android Play Store and also the App Store. First of all, we need to go into the GoPro. Down the bottom here, if I put the camera down a little bit, should be able to see it a bit better. There is an icon that's a GoPro icon, so we need to select that icon and we need to add our camera. So it is currently searching for the GoPro. We found your GoPro, yay. Okay, so we wanna connect the camera. It'll ask us to pair the Bluetooth. So all we're doing with the GoPro app is just pairing it with the Bluetooth. We're not actually doing the Wi-Fi connection from the app. So we've got a successful connection. Ask us to change the name. Yeah, let's change the name. That sounds like a good name to me. That's all we need to do with the GoPro app. You can use the app to control the GoPro. However, the purpose of this video is to actually go and use the GoPro with the Crane M2. We'll then go into the ZY Play app. And for our gimbal, we wanna be in, uh, we wanna go over to four pro cameras and the Crane M2. We then want to click on connect now. And then if everything's worked properly, it should pick up the Crane M2 quite quickly. And we're now connected. So let's go enter now. Next, we want to go to camera. So from here, uh, if we change the mode on the gimbal itself, we can, you know, we can control like pretty much any access that we want. But we're not here to do that. We're here to, again, set up the GoPro with the Crane M2. So at the top here, there is an icon. So you got the Bluetooth icon and then next to it, you got the Wi-Fi icon with a line through it, a dash. If you click on that Wi-Fi icon, the Wi-Fi list comes up. Now in the list, we have the GoPro and my home network. So let's go and click connect. Now this is an old password that I had. So let's go and grab the new one. So back on the GoPro, swipe down, back to preferences, connections. We go to camera info and there is our new password. Now just click done and then connect. We are now connected to the GoPro. It will then go and tell us what camera brand we have and it is successful because the identification that we have is GoPro. 
Like in the other video that I've done with the Canon G7X Mark III, sometimes it doesn't select the camera brand properly, so you can select that manually. So we'll get out of that. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, cool, I can use the functionality of the ZY Play app with the gimbal and the GoPro. Yes and no. You can record video and take photos with this app. However, if you go into the camera icon, down the bottom here, we have Pano, time-lapse and trajectory photography. That's not gonna work. So now back on our gimbal. And I do apologize for the flickering here. It just doesn't match the frame rate that I'm recording in. We have the red icon for record. And then if we turn it around, we have the zoom in and zoom out. On a photo, because this icon to the right is grayed out, we can't zoom in or zoom out, but I'm gonna take a photo. The photo's taken, and then what we wanna do is, is that we wanna swipe to the right to video. Again, you'll see the icon with the zoom in. We can actually do that now, but we can't do it while we record. So if I hit the record icon, it's now recording and then click it again to stop the recording. So that is how you connect the GoPro Hero 8 Black to the June Crane M2 wirelessly. So you can record videos and take photos by using the recording functionality, well, the record button on the Crane M2 and the zoom in, zoom out. Don't forget, you can only do that when the recording isn't happening on the GoPro. And then you can use the functionality of the gimbal while you're recording. So let's say I want to go to POV, which is to do, you know, selfie mode to go and do a recording. So I can hit that mode button till I'm on POV. And then we hit this front button three times. And this is a video that is shot on the Crane M2 with the GoPro Hero 8. So it was all very straightforward, very easy to do. Now, if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments and like this video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you next time.